Hi, so a couple people asked me to do a demo of um, the coved or recessed ceilings, so the kind of things that we did in our conference room with our first project. Um, in this example, I'm going to use this little room here that's a small meeting room. Um, before you begin, you want to set up a 3D view because that's going to kind of help us jump back and forth a lot. And so this is what my view is here. Currently does not have a ceiling. These inner walls are at eight feet. The outer walls are at 10 feet. Remember that, that's gonna be important. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go to my ceiling plan. This is the room right here. Like I said, it currently does not have a ceiling. So I'm gonna go over to architecture and then ceiling. And then I'm gonna sketch this ceiling. So first I'm gonna have a rectangle. And I wanna make this, I'm gonna make, double check the height that I'm at eight feet. Now, I want to make this more of like a donut shape, so before I click the green arrow, I'm going to make another rectangle roughly where I'm hoping to be over my table. So I'm going to green check that, and then I'm going to go and look back and forth again at my 3D view. Um, this is looking a little too big. I don't like how big that looks right now. So I'm going to go back over to here um, in level one, and I still kind of have it um, uh, like picked, so I'm going to say edit boundary. And I'm going to bring in these lines a little bit just to tighten that up because it seemed a bit overly large over there. So now, again, you're going to want to go back and forth and check things. So I'm going to go here. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Maybe, maybe bring in a little bit here. Let's do that quick. So this would be this end of the table. And at boundary, it's a little bit big over there. Okay. Kind of line it up maybe with that column. All right, good. All right, so this is now the... Um, main ceiling area. This part here is what we want to have the cove that's going to go up above. So now we're going to go back to ceiling and we're going to do sketch ceiling and we're going to get a rectangle. And for now I'm going to line it up right here and you'll see later we're going to overlap it a little bit. Before I do the green check though, in this case now I want it up to 10 feet. So then I say okay. And then I'm going to go again and look back at it um, at 3D. So let's go see that. So now you can see it's up at that 10 feet, but what's going to happen is um, sunlight, this whole white area is going to be open to the outside. So you're going to get way too much sunlight coming in there. It's going to be huge um, uh, and just like bleed out kind of color wise everything in here. So we want to go back into here and we're going to now draw little walls in the floor. So in this case, we need to go back to the floor plan and we'll say level one. And I'm going to kind of roughly guess that my walls are around in here. So I'm going to add a wall. Now, one of the problems I discovered is that um, when I went to use this first wall type, let me bring it up so you can see. We'll say edit type. Go we'll say edit. Um, if we hit the preview, this is the one where I added base molding. So if I use this as little walls up in my ceiling, I ended up having a little base molding, which is not what we want. So in this case, what I'm going to do is duplicate. So if you have to do this yourself, I'm going to say interior. We're going to put no molding. And then I'm going to say OK. But then I still have to edit out the molding there. So I'm going to go over to sweeps. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to delete and delete, apply, OK, OK. Okay, and now I have blank walls again. So I'm gonna draw those guys, and I'm gonna roughly imitate, hopefully, what's kind of up above in the ceiling. And again, I may have to edit these up a little bit. So, all right, there's that right now. And now, um, this is when I wanna put in um, a section view. So I'm gonna do two of those. I'm gonna do one view here. So I left click, and left click, try to make, that, make sure it's straight. And then I'm gonna, again, get a section left click over here, left click here. All right, so we'll go to this first top one. We're gonna right click and say, go to view. And this is where we're gonna pull these up off the ground and kind of position them a little bit better. So first I'm gonna pull this one up. Now, one of the things I discovered when I did an earlier demo is I wanna pull it up about halfway between that, that first set of ceilings. Because if I have it come down here, I'm gonna see a line um, when I look up, and I'll show you an example of that, a couple things I fixed. Um, I don't necessarily need them this high. I might want to have it just a little bit higher than my ceiling, just to make sure I'm totally blocking out the light. This is the wall I'm now facing on the ground, so I'm going to pull that one up and bring that there. This one, um, I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to bring it up, but I'm also going to shimmy it over just a little bit. 
and there. Now you can see that I'm intersecting there. And the whole idea is we wanna basically seal this off so light isn't bleeding in. If I go back to my floor plan, I looked at it to the right. Now I wanna look at it to the left. So I'm gonna say flip section, and I'm gonna right click, go to view, and double check on this end. Looks pretty good. Here's that facing wall again. So I wanna bring, clean that up, bring that up to here. All right, now I'm gonna go back to my level one. Now I'm gonna double check my sections in this direction. So I'm gonna right click and say, go to view. This is where, again, you're gonna find a few discrepancies. So I've got this one is way over here. And I also wanna pull that up, like I said, so I'm not seeing the bottom of it come through. This one, again, I'm pulling up and I'm gonna nudge it a bit to the left too. Remember, like I said, we're trying to make sure we have a real good seal on this. All right, so we're going back to level one. And now it's this section I was looking at, so I'm gonna flip the section, and then I'm gonna right click and say go to view. And it's looking pretty good. So now let's see what it looks like in 3D. So we're going over to here. And so far so good. All right, so one of the things I wanna do too is I'm gonna paint in here just to kind of give it a, like a cute effect. So um, we're gonna go to modify, and there's the paint over here. And I went ahead and I edited one of my paints oh, that I already had. It's called Inspired. Oh, did I spell that right? No, I did not. All right, so it's I-N-S-P-I-R-E-D. All right, there we go. Okay, so I'll kind of cover over this quick. It's, it's not this horrible black. It's actually this light mauve. I had a paint color that was already an eggshell. And I'll bring it up in a minute before we go. But I made this a flat matte paint remember we um for materials lecture we don't want our paint super shiny so here i did and i painted and i painted up there so that's going to give me kind of this like little bit of a lavender glow um i'll show you quick how i did that i went to manage materials and we'll pause if the blue ball goes too long nope not too bad okay inspired and here it comes Okay, we're back at the paint. So um, there's a couple examples here, but let me delete this one because I was doing a few. Um, all right, so what I had is here's the original paint. I duplicated it and then I renamed it flat. So I'll just say flat two. Flat two. And there's your appearance. Here's the finish, the paint finish. So I just picked a flat matte to make that color. So I'll just make a second one there. But that's how um, you edit those paints because like I said, we want, we don't want this to be super shiny. We want this to be a matte finish. Now, um, we've got the cobalt set. Now we've got to put in the lighting. So I'll kind of work you through a couple of the quirks of that. Um, we'll leave these sections in here for now, but I'll take them out before my final drawing. So what I want to do is basically go to systems and then lighting, because then I have a nice pre-edited list of lighting. I've got a bunch loaded in here. I'm going to show you quickly. I'm going to pop in a couple of can lights. And later on, I can go through and kind of clean them up in their location a little bit. And obviously look at my 3D model too to get an idea of that. So I'm gonna just pop six around in here and that looks pretty good. Um, something I talked about with students online was um, you also have an option of a downlight uh, wall washer. That's going to angle the light towards a specific wall. So if you look at this example here, I have a display wall over here with like some video equipment. That arrow is showing me the light's gonna point this way. I want it to point that way. So I'm just gonna rotate that quick. So I'm just gonna swing it around like that. And then this one, I wanna copy and I'm gonna put it again farther down in here. So it's accenting that wall. Now I wanna put my pendants in here in this taller part, but as you'll see in a second, um, it's not gonna play nice with me. So this is my pendant way down here. And see, I'm getting that, nope, won't load for me. So this is where I wanna jump back into my 3D view of the room. So here it is here. And if I go back under here to architecture and component, place a component, it's already loaded and ready for me to go. And then there it is there. And I'm gonna hover and see how it's you know, trying to find its home. If I hover enough over here, it's gonna stick itself here on the ceiling of this taller ceiling. So now I can go back over to level one. Oh, and they're all over the place here. So we're gonna pull this one up here. Oops, and we're gonna pull this one up here and hope they see they nicely line up. 
we'll go back and look at it in the view. That's looking pretty good. All right, so then I went ahead and I set up my render. So I'm gonna make sure my interior, I have sun and artificial light. I have a background image of Chicago. Um, I'm saying setting high. If this room was a little too dark, like if I didn't have a lot of windows here, I might play around with the exposure over here on the left. Um, I'm gonna just jump you over and show you what some of those renderings look like that I ran already. So let me pull this up. Um, here we are here. Okay, so there's a bunch here. So let me bring them up and I'll kind of walk you through. So this was my very first one and my seams weren't quite closed all the way. So let me show you how to fix that quick. So I went back into my model and then I went over to my ceiling plan and it's this section here, actually it's the inner one. So it might be easier to get this way. So I want to get, whoops, it's taking a second. Okay, here's that ceiling there. So if I click on to it and I say um, edit boundary, now I'm going to go back to level one where I can actually edit it. I want to make sure these little lines are kind of actually overlapping a bit with my walls. That way I know I have a, a pretty tight seal with my ceiling going into those like kind of suspended wall systems. So I'm going to say okay to that. That's what solves this problem here. The next problem we had is this is the bottom of the the wall coming down through my ceiling. So by, let's go back to here now. So by fixing those sections, let's see, where are they here? Um, here we go. So we'll go into this guy here. Uh, oops, I think we deleted them on mistake. All right, so by doing that, hold on. So that got fixed by making sure this section here didn't come down or line up exactly. So by pulling it up halfway, I then don't have that line in the ceiling. So let me go back to there. So by pulling that up a little bit, you're gonna lose that line. So these are kind of like my finished ones that came out pretty nice where, like I so said, you don't see my, my the bottom of my wall coming through there. My lights are pretty well lit up there. I've got some, and this is just a second one where I think I might have um, adjusted the brightness just to kind of, you know, uh, kind of make it a little sharper and cleaner in there. All right, so if you have any questions, definitely go ahead and uh, send me an email and I can walk you through any of these if you have this going on in your own building. But this is roughly what it should look like in 3D and what you'll be seeing in your rendered model.